Okay, so today I'm going to tie a fly, um, one of my little favourite patterns that caused quite a bit of a stir in a, in a competition a few years ago because uh, I, uh, I caught 12 fish from a pool that uh, a renowned spider expert um, blanked in and because I caught 12 they couldn't comprehend the fact that uh, I'd managed to catch 12 and he didn't hadn't caught any now simple reason the right fly I had everything right I had the right timing um, grailing in the pool uh, probably just came on as, as I went up and was just about coming on um, I also fished three of these flies on a greased up tippet and I fished them really high just in the surface film near enough like dries and the grayling were uh, foraging in the leaves it was autumn time and the grayling were just coming up just mouthing into and around the leaves so very really high and the renowned expert spider expert um, had a leaded pattern on his on his cast uh, he was dragging his flies down just a little bit too deep and that made all the difference um, but anyway who am I you know uh, who am I to tell a, 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 a an expert at the end of the day I retired from competition fishing ranked number one in England on rivers so there we go anyway enough of the rant um, we'll get on with the fly so in the hook I've just for the demonstration purposes um, I've just got a barbless wet fly now size 14 this one Steve Cullen will like this video because there's a bit of juice in it right so this one um, <laughs> has got an interned point as you can see um, I'm not a fan of straight pointed hooks especially not with spider patterns because oh that's the kids they're Demo, demo, doing a demolition job on the house I think they're a bit past board now poor things anyway so in curve point wherever possible if you're using barbless hooks you want to land more fish um, it's my opinion um, try and uh, sort you know try and get these these hooks with the intern point all right so materials we're going to use uh, thread very important for this fly and it's rusty brown and it's from uni it's uni thread a and it's absolutely superb this really is a nice color dubbing for the body this is from jan shiman and jonathan barnes sells this on his website it's not cheap by the way but it's very very good stuff and you know it'll last a long time i think it's uh 20 odd quid or something oh, i can't remember uh, but all these dubbing see all these little dis dispensaries here they're all these are all full uh uv flashing every single one of them there's elements and of uv in it all and i just love that in a fly uh i'm going to use this medium gray here medium uh, gray again it's got the uv in it i'm not going to use much of that but uh it's uh, what we are going to use and some brown partridge hackles i just get them in a bag boiling a bag as it were um, come from cook's hill do the job don't need anything else uh, three quid a bag you get quite a lot of spiders out of that right so when we're finishing off the fly we're just going to use a little bit of vineyards clear varnish and cocktail stick to apply that with i think that's about it okay so let's get on with the fly enough rabbiting on and ranting we'll just catch it see i've not gone too far down and we'd, at this point we're just going to start with the dubbing so we're going to get the dispenser just going to get a little bit out and tease it on gently onto our thread and make sure that we put enough on well you don't have to you can make it as you go you take it on just lightly on so that's on and we're just going to spread that out a bit okay as you can see it's, it's all spread out and then we're just going to go st here we'll start here and then just work back down with open turns 
here. And I've got a tiny bit too much on there, so that little bit there, I'm just going to take that away. I'm just going to remove that, okay? Try and pull these fibers back here, and we're just going to now create oh, a little butt. We'll build up with that thread because I like the colour. Okay. Oh, one more. Something. Okay, that's all. That's it. Now, just trim out a little bit now. Don't cut your thread or anything. Just trim out a tiny bit. And now we're just going to let loose with the thread. You're just going to come up, crisscross back down, and then up to just behind the eye. See, that's it. It was only a small, sorry, uh, just a little compact, but it's just enough, it is. That's it, perfect. Remember that. That's all body. That's it. Uh, feather. Partridge feather. So I go for the dark brown. And we've got a nice feather there. And we're just going to offer a feather. Offer the tip. And as you can see, we're just going to line that up. See, that's too long. So we're going to take a few of those out. Each side. And then come back again, just measure it up. And that might be a little bit long as well, so just I think a lot of people do um, tend to make their uh, hackles just a little bit too long on these spider patterns. You see, there that's about right. We'll just take off the couple of fibers off the top, that's us now. That's ready to go. It's not a big feather. Come in with the hackle pliers into the tip, into the centre, sorry, with the tip of the pliers. Pull back now. I'm just going to redo that because I just trapped some of those on the other side. Now, we should be left with a little V. Here you can see. And we're just going to put that catch, put that in just behind the eye there. Threads a bit loose, and tie back or wrap back, whichever. Trim off that little bit of Tidy that up a tiny bit. You can at this point just put in, just secure everything a couple of turns with your whip finish tool. But when you do that, you, you know, everything's locked in, so be very careful now with this stalk as we wind the hackle on because if we break this, we've, we've already trapped in the thread, so we'd have to it'd be a bit of a nightmare undoing it. So, all right, cocktail stick. Just try and separate a few of these fibers. Don't worry too much if uh, they're not playing ball. This is not a fly that needs to be perfect. It's the opposite. This fly is more effective the rougher it is. It's that simple. Okay, now we'll come in with the hackle pliers, grab the stalk, and then wind forward. Okay, and each, as you're winding forward, just tease these fibres back. That's my son there, he's playing Bob the Builder. Uh, he's got a plastic hammer, although it doesn't sound plastic, and he's taking off all the plaster in the, on the walls. Isn't that, uh, so we've got an immense amount of decorating to do. <coughs> Alright, come again, round and forward. Each turn wants to be forward of the previous turn. 
that's about right there you see we'll come in there now we'll just get our thread I have to just do it a little bit shorter because I've got no space between the camera and the fly so it's a little bit tricky right on the edge let's wind back now okay and we'll come in and just trim that stalk okay so that's pretty good and at that point now we're ready just to uh, whip finish build this head up don't be afraid to build it up a little bit not too mad not too mad but just build it up again I like that I love that brown coming through it's a really good colour and I have a lot of confidence in it now instead of cutting there I'm just getting the tips of the scissors I'm just going to push forward and it'll cut for me so I don't, I don't want to cut it accidentally cut any of my uh, hackle now cocktail stick again and just put a little bit far too much on there dumped it in like a digestive into a cup of tea a lot went in that'll do so it's an easy fly to tie I don't know if the camera will pick up but there's little hints of UV coming through there absolutely love it I do not too much you know what I mean it's got to be it's got to be balanced fairly right I think but uh, but I do like them okay right, that's pretty much where I want to be with that fly it's ready to go into the box there you have it nothing to it really I'll trim out that little bit there so, no that's me just being fussy now so it will make absolutely no difference at all to the fly but there you have it there's the my March brown spider and it is a fish catcher thanks for looking thanks for watching